so again, here we are again for Lava Mortis. Yep, welcome back guys. Well, we have, as you recall, last time we were going to go and slaughter some monks or something, to you know, cleanse the world of evil by committing an atrocity as is the yeah. traditional yeah. heroic way. Yeah, now that we've got an evil artifact, we need a holy artifact to destroy it. Yeah. We've got to go wipe out some monks until they drop something holy. Exactly. I mean, we could just ask them, but nah, let's, let's, let's butcher them. Yeah, now that I know I was hired by a foul wizard, I must search for means to break his power in an old Italian monastery. So this isn't the place where the uh, art, where the holy artifact is kept, it's just some people who might know yeah. about it. Ah. So we're just going to go there and be, you know, beat information out of people, I think. We're not subtle. Place should be quiet and peaceful, but my senses are telling me otherwise. Oh no, Shaolin monks! Yes, it looks like a real place with bits. <laughs> See, that's not good when you start off with armor. Mm. These are some fancy walls, but they're uh, not in great repair. Okay. Go south, everyone else is One locked. silver and gold locks. Interesting. I wasted my armor. <laughs> Oh, is it Garth the little boom? No, it's, that, it's on a timer, but I've spent too long wandering around in there, nattering to myself, rambling about doors. Well, if you've got a monster, you may as well admire the architecture. They have no architecture. Why is this room not clear? I can hear the enemy. A spider somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think they spawn outside the room sometimes. They're crawling. I'll get them when I head back. Yeah. So it's not just that this monastery has a bad spider infestation, but it turns out that the monks are, are also vampires. Makes sense as we've established that everyone in this world is undead. We are the only living guy. Demonic or hideous spider. Yeah. Oops. Oh, not looking good for me. I'm already on low health. I will get it back. Just um. Hit something. That'd be great. There we go. Kill the ice warrior. Both ice warriors. Tenth, they're not ice warriors. How did I survive that? I must have had like one hit point. I could not see any right in my health bar. No, you had like a little bit in the dragon mouth. Right, so we just take a rest while we get our health back. You know, yeah. feed upon the blood of the living or something. Yeah. But I think those are banshee sound waves that they spray at us. Yeah, yeah. A more like ice blast, but yeah, I think that's meant to be. <laughs> okay, here's a thought. Uh, what was the item we picked up last time? Oh, I don't know. Look at that. Also, have they encountered new enemies? Dead Crusader, huh? Oh, are these the enemies we're fighting? I think they may be. Oh, kills one. Is that... Wait, was that the boss? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. What's on page three? Mummies. 141. That looks more like it. Okay. Raids aren't we working on. No, those are the invisible uh, things. It's the, um... Oh, Vampire Brides. Yeah. What was the new item? Don't remember what we had before. No. Sacred cup. Zombies had. We've encountered a few of those, so. Looked a little like the monster's jaw, but I know we already had that one. That was the first thing we found. Hmm. Oh, two bullet things at the bottom. Silver bullets, maybe? Yeah. I don't remember us having that ring. No. I don't know. Most of them don't do anything except level us up faster anyway. Oh, look good. And a closer in inspection, irritatingly, while we're reading the best year we are, health didn't read yet. No. That, was an that was entirely a waste of everybody's time. You get to learn some stuff, I guess, sir. So. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to absorb yourself in the lore of this game. And in a way, it's actually quite interesting that, because there's not much lore, so you can actually apply stuff to it and make it up. Or you can go for something faintly absurdist like ours, or go for something more <laughs> traditional. Hmm. Okay, what have we got in here? Spiders. They're also undead throwing body parts at us, I think. I'm not 
actually quite a fan of minimalist storytelling in games where you get like, a kernel of a world and you keep building. It's actually quite interesting. Yeah, um You were the one who lent me um Ico was it? Name. Ico, yeah. I mean that's very much. I mean the whole team Ico series does that and yeah. they're beautiful and they're some of my favourite <laughs> games. So that game's like the uh, prime example of well done minimalist yeah. storytelling. And Shadow of the Colossus and Last Guardian actually do it, which are sort of not yeah. sequels as such, but in thematically similar games by yeah. the same studio do it well as well. You know, I own Shadow of the Colossus, I've not played it yet, but I've really loved Icon. It's worth it, I mean, you triumph over hideous monsters, feel like the bad guy in Shadow of the Colossus. It's a interesting experience. <laughs> Where did they all come from? It's a monastery. You wouldn't think there'd be many brides hanging around and well, vampires. Maybe we, maybe we got mixed up in the statue and none of it. That would make more sense. I mean, Dracula and the same has been some definite polyamorous, um, not polyamorous, polygamist um, practices. Well, you do have three wives in the book, yeah. I believe. I don't know how, how I don't know how that works when you're un undead. The uh, Till Death is as part rule has already kind of been broken. Apparently, according to lots of vampire lore, the whole blood drinking thing is quite pleasurable for both parties concerned. Except, you know, when it goes wrong, the vampire frenzies and mm. drinks your whole blood. That's um, less good. Yeah. Surprisingly enough, that kind of stuff wasn't really covered in the original Dracula book. Yeah. People are excited. I mean. Uh, my, yeah, my vampire law is mostly based on World of Darkness, to be honest, and the book of yeah. the Vampire Slayers, so we'll um... Yeah, vampire law has changed a lot, a lot over the years. Mostly to make vampires more like people. Like, the original Dracula is very clear on how alien and strange his mind is. If you look at, like, old vampire folklore from recent years, they're actually more like zombies in that, you know, they're like flesh and blood drinking um, monsters. Yeah. Yeah, Dracula wasn't supposed to be some guy tormented by his strange transformation into a monstrous beast. He, he pretty much was just a monster yeah. who didn't think or feel in the way that we do. I mean, if you go with, um, of course, the, the whole the vampire, which um, very blatantly stores stars Biden as the uh, central character, which probably explains some of the conflicted. Um, again, I've not read that, so I'm just sort of speculating on stuff I've read. You know, yeah. stuff I. Read about stuff I've not read, so. Another new item. I'm sure it's not a... uh, I'm still not seeing new things. It definitely said new item. I wonder if we just found one that we've already got and it just gives us yeah. this score again. Oh well, back through the trap rooms. These kind of slidey. Sp Spiked blocks are really popular traps in games. I don't think they'd work very well in real life. No, because you need to dodge them more. Mm. Well, just that the mechanisms would be difficult. I think they'd get clogged pretty quickly. Like, you need a lot of maintenance. And also, it sounds like there's something crawling around in them if you listen to the sound effect, like, you know, like cockroaches or something. Yeah. I don't know if that's meant to be like the gears going or something. I'm assuming so, but. They could be powered by insects. I'm not going to say that they're not. I mean, I'm just going with like, you know, the whole weird law of this game. <laughs> okay, it's ending badly for me. I picked up the um, super powered sword thing, I think. So uh, I was. Thought I'd hack into them a bit. M maybe it wasn't the best plan. No, oh, we're just fine. There, there are old gunmen and there are gunmen who fight with swords in melee, but there are no old gunmen who fight with swords in melee. No, not in this universe. <laughs> Ooh, golden skull. Yeah. I think that one might be another zombie head that we've been picking up. Ah, I'm stuck, I'm stuck! Damn you, terrain! No! Ow! Right. <sighs> that was, um... That was frustrating. But we'll get there. <laughs>
Okay, maybe a good idea to grab another level before we go back in there. Let's find something easy and grind. Yeah, well. Oh, I mean. We definitely got pretty far last time. Yes. So we'll see where we go this time. Not a lot of options, actually. No. Oh, Algeria's in the right place. Yeah. Well, that level is up. It's not a huge difficulty, so we should survive it at least. Okay, let's go to Algeria, which you know is actually in the right place this time. Yeah. Oh, this map's just one big circle. Do we find hitting with a sword work well? I think they, they just ignore like half the hits they take or something. The sword works about as well as any other attack does. Oh. Ah. Oh yeah, they freeze you solid. One more of them. See those sparkles? Yeah. Those things are just a pain. I mean. Spiders are a little circular. You know how to deal with spiders. Fire. Yeah. Lots of it. Yeah, it's military great place, and this is how you deal with spiders. How many? Hmm. Oh, for the love of. I'm gonna walk into a serious room here. How did they survive that? I mean, seriously, giant spiders? How? <laughs> Another one. Oh. Yeah, my legs. Oh! Finally. <laughs> right, okay, so we've cleared the spider nest. Maybe that was the entire level's enemies. We can just try to clear the rest of them. No. Do appear to be ah. more spiders everywhere. Damn it. Dude, we're just from them running into spikes. That's fine, that kid. Yeah, no complaints there. Oh, there's a lot. He's up with this point. I guess he's infested with spiders? All I remember saying was that it was a powerful boss from the Is it a spider mastermind from the Is that what's going on here? Well, is this just set in the same universe as Doom in the 19th century before we got to Mars? Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, we need the spectral things in here with the spiders. Come on. All these eggs seem to be hatching. I think we might be over the limit for how many enemies can be in the room. Is the limit? I didn't think so until all these eggs didn't hatch until we cleared the room a bit. So now I suspect there is. Okay, we just got the ghosts to deal with. And another spider, because you know. Just why not? And an egg. And more ghosts. What? It's not turning out to be the easy leveling mission that it was advertised as. Well, let's get some health back after. It's not, yeah. They're not hard enemies, but it's just a lot of them. <laughs> why? Why are there so many enemies? Yeah, I don't know if we should be putting more points into something different or... I think health and regeneration and movement are actually pretty good because everything else seems... 
Are we supposed to have more damage at this point? Is that why they're throwing enemies at us? I don't know. This is melee. No, because the weapons do. The observation that boosts boost your damage. No more experience. Hmm. Okay. Never mind then. It's more regeneration we need. Yeah. I guess when we level up next, we'll do that. It's nice when he pulls out two guns, he basically splits one gun into two. <laughs> yes. That's why they call him Two Gun Clive. That's a special ability. Oh. You can always turn one gun into two guns. That, that shotgun only had a single barrel until yeah. he picked it up. Go ahead and assume this entire mission is going to be like this. Yeah. It's like easy enemies, but lots of them. Yeah. It feels like we're just a waste of ammo. Because that's why the locals didn't want to deal with it. Yeah. So you just wait for a wandering adventurer to show up and clear the room. Chugan Clyde needs not um, furniture. He is far too. Um... Need chairs. Chugan Clyde never sits down on the job. I don't think he can he's... sit down. Yeah, he's always on the job. I'm he not sure he's rests. got legs, just feet. No, no, you know he's got legs. A large map as well. Ah. So in theory, there's only one room we actually need to complete. It would be the boss room. Don't know where that is though. I think I'm just going to skip this room and miss. Yeah, I don't really want to. It's cleared, that's the important thing, right? Yeah. Oh, and more spiders. We've not had enough. Yeah. Yeah. That's getting a bit better. Yeah. I've loaded the enemies, I guess. Yeah. Alright, now what have we got? Just one of these guys? That's the long one. Maybe it's the same one. Hmm. That was a short wheel. Now I need to find some keys to get through this door. Hi. Oh. Well, at least we can just stand here and wait for the enemies to kill themselves. Say clear. We don't see any other enemies. No, press on, I guess. Just need that key. Hey, there it is. Look at that spider people. I don't care how useful you are to the environment. You have to look at the spider people, your house could be full of fly people. Is that Spiders are a fascinating creature, just not, you know. <laughs> I don't know if you could keep pet spiders. Nah. Like, I think spiders are cool, but I don't think I could get that attached to it. No, it's. A creature that doesn't has so little recognition in its brain. Yeah. The seizure is basically the food or. What? I think most of them basically see you as part of the environment. Is that the wrong key? That's on your silver. Right. Okay. Guess I'll just 
go through. It's the same with keeping birds at first. I'll have to understand I don't have the subroutines in their brain performing personal attachment. Generally stick with mammals. Yeah, I just do cats and dogs. For the So we should get those if we're on a level mission. Oh yes. We get XP for killing stuff anyway, don't we? We do, yeah. But I think the items give us a lot more. We should probably boost our luck at some point, but we will know for another playthrough. <laughs> ah! This room is awful. Run, run, scream. Oh. I am sick of spiders. <laughs> I mean, next time they hire me, tell me a spider infestation. You hire a spider, spe spider specialist. Wait, do they not have exterminators? Oh yeah, because others isn't. <laughs> you know, there are people who specialise in eliminating you know, pest infestation spiders and the like. You don't have to call in a demon hunter. You don't have to pay those extra rates. Unless your spider source are demon possessed. How do you tell if the spiders do you possess? Do they, act, do they act differently to regular spiders? I don't know, I mean, we'll start talking. They are coming. Why? These are local civilians that are upset about your overuse of the flamethrower against the spider problem. I know, I've probably caused some sort of... I mean, they're probably a rare species. I was thinking more of the fact that you've set the civilians on fire. And that. Hey, we leveled up. Hey, we did. Right. More region? I guess so. Well, more constitution. Mm. Well, constitution stops us from getting bursted down. Regen is better in the sustained fights. I think last time we died it was a sustained fight. So I guess regen. Yeah. I mean, probably just keeping those two about equal, we cannot go too wrong. And a reasonable walk speed. Yeah. I feel like we've got diminishing returns on walk speed. It was really useful early on, but I don't know that we get that much more out of it now. I wonder if there's things where you just have to sort of get to a certain level then. Yeah. I don't know, maybe one more walk speed would be good for like, those banshee things. Like chasing us down before. Yeah, I think regen and con Constitution are god stats in this. Not Dex. Maybe <laughs> <Hey, laughs> we'll get one more walk speed next time we level. Develop the ability to run. Tune Clyde only walks fast. <laughs> only undead run, right? Winning implies fear. Tune Clyde has no fear. He expunged it. It only works and only away from explosions. Wow. Maybe the first one can be a good way to play that pile of corpses. Explosives work better. We've almost finished our circuit. I mean, demon hunting, if you're doing it properly, you need to be methodically. You can't just go for the target. You really do need to clear out room by room. Yeah, you, you look like an idiot to get there and be like, so, have you so you've defeated all my minions. And you're like, well, actually, I you know, came straight here. Uh, did, I, did I miss any important items or anything? You know, he's he's going to file a negative review, is, is what's going to happen there, you know? I mean, interestingly, in this, the game's official law, such as this, this guy's built as an exorcist. I've not seen him do one exorcism. Well, let's be fair, I've not encountered any ghosts, you know. Or possessing mm -hmm. demons. I mean, there's those grim shades that are half ethereal or whatever they are. I guess maybe they count. But yeah, there's not been any poltergeist or people possessed by a demon. 
Ich bin straight up monsters. And this is not Chinese myth where exorcism can involve doing like you know kung fu and gun fu. <laughs> Different mythological paradigms here. Yeah. Which one do we prefer? I'll leave you to find out. I mean, I like being able to punch demons out of people. So do I, I mean. It's an easy. I thought I'm not that up on world exorcism traditions. I know in Christianity you can, you've got the whole power of Christ thing. Somewhere in West Africa you hit people with an iron bar. Shiny, I don't know. Let's see how you like living in that body when we start hitting yeah. it with iron bars. Is that sort of what goes on there? I think so. Kind of logical. I mean, I know in sort of. So in China, you get those sort of little bits of paper you put on. The press lips you put on people. Yeah. Again, this is just half a member knowledge, so if you're interested, um, go Google, I guess. Say last one. Like in every room here, there's like five stages. Yeah. The one thing we fear, if we fear it, if we don't. Remind us of the one thing we fear Batman. Well, true. Where is Batman in all this? I'm possibly not born, but that's beside the point. All I know is that the prophecy speaks that he will come one day. Although, traditionally, this is 1890 odd, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Batman's only 20 years away from being born. Yeah. So, Two Gun Clyde is right to be worried. I mean, Batman does not smile on people with guns, or psychotic murderers in general. I mean, he spends a lot of time fighting psychotic yeah. murderers, but it's the people with guns they particularly dislikes. There's uh, personal reasons there. Oh I mean, yes, it makes sense with the personal reasons. Although he is American, so you think... A vigilante American, so you think he'd love guns, but... Eh, hey ho. Slip through here. Sometimes I want to argue with these stereotypes, but one of my American friends literally this very day sent me a picture saying, Look at all the guns I own! Just like eight assault rifles surrounded by pistols. Like, nobody needs that many no. guns. Nobody needs one gun. I mean, yeah, it's like. Two Gun Clyde needs two guns to fight off the undead. If you're not fighting off the undead, you don't need guns. You live in America, like modern nation. You do not need to be armed to the teeth. No, it's the same, but most people in America who buy into the whole vigilante thing seem to be of the we like guns persuasion. I guess Batman substitutes with high tech gadgets. I mean, to be fair, technically, a load of Batman's gadgets are guns, they're just non lethal versions. Or less lethal, at least. Yeah. They're less lethal when Batman uses them. They're non lethal when Batman uses them, they'd probably be less lethal if a normal person used them. Because Batman doesn't kill, so if one of his guns kills somebody, he'd have to go after it. And no gun wants that. Which I assume is just a room with like dozens and dozens of waves after waves of enemy. <laughs> that has been the rule so far. Yes. I also think it might just be an entire room just completely full of these spike blocks. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the spike blocks to do some of my work. Sorry, but... Turns out the spike blocks are the boss monster. Oh. Oh, they got one of them. 
possibly they got more of them that we didn't see. Yeah, at least two. I suppose my walk speed would get us out of situations like that. You think a fully trained demon on there may be, just may be able to run. I'd be fair, I'd challenge anybody to run with all these guns yeah. I'm carrying. That's a surprise to even stand up. Yeah. I've got to be honest there. I mean, a handheld naval cannon, a, Flamethrower. a knockoff Gatling gun, and a flamethrower, yeah. Sword, yeah, I mean, swords aren't as heavy as everyone says, but. There's a limit to how many pieces of metal you can carry. Yeah. Yeah, this guy gets to airport security. Yeah, I don't think airports was tightly secured in those days. They probably assumed that, you know, if you got a got on board a cross that cross Atlantic blimp flight, <sighs> you were probably smart enough not to fire your gun. You'd hope so, but I mean also this is the thing. Would you try and stop this guy getting on a plane? Yeah. Yeah, probably not. That's how you can fly a plane. How many times can I storm an airplane yeah. and take one? Okay, I'm going to put a big weapon on for this. Giant bat. You should have seen it coming. Man bat. One week, this is naval cannons. I yeah, rewatched the... Uh first episode of Batman the Animated Series the other day. Oh. I've, I've always loved how it trolls you in the first episode because like you, you see people being like, you see that in the sky? It's a bat! It's some kind of Batman! And you see wing shapes fluttering yeah. past and people being like, you know, there's something in the air, some sort of strange creature. And it turns out it's Man-Bat, it's not Batman at all. I mean, Batman's it's, an accepted part of, well, yeah. ish. It actually is just a bat monster flying around that Batman has to take down later on. I mean, as I recall, that is actually quite a good story. And there we go, we've completed the old monastery. Uh, so, well, we've completed our levelling mission. Yeah. We've got to go to the old monastery next. Yeah, well, I guess that's the next time. Yeah. So, yeah, we had, we had a bit of success this time. We got a level at least. And you saw us walk through a sort of long, long circular death yeah. maze. And right. I'll go and die in the monastery again next uh, time, I guess. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.